So now that we've made the diagnosis of the ACL tear arthroscopically, now we move into the repair phase. And the repair is somewhat controversial. Uh, there are three competing techniques out there. One is a replacement technique with synthetic material. Uh, another is making a bone cut behind the tibial tuberosity and advancing that tuberosity called a tibial tuberosity advancement, also abbreviated TTA. And the other is leveling the tibial plateau, doing a tibial plateau leveling osteotomy, which is bone cut, and that's abbreviated TPLO. Uh, I've been at this for quite a few years and I've had the experience, uh, had the opportunity to have experience in all of those techniques. Uh, the, the, the replacement technique, I've done literally thousands of, I've done hundreds of the tibial tuberosity advancements, and uh, again I've done thousands of the tibial plateau leveling osteotomies. And this could be a long-standing debate, but suffice it to say that at, with experience with all three of those, if my dog tore her ACL tomorrow, she'd get a tibial plateau leveling osteotomy, a TPLO. I mean, she's had one, but the, I wouldn't, wouldn't hesitate to do the same procedure on her other side if she tore her other side someday. And I will say the majority of board-certified surgeon colleagues that I have uh, with experience in, of all those techniques feel the same way and to some degree it's what we're most comfortable with in our hands but uh, I think the tibial plateau leveling osteotomy is the gold standard right now has been for a decade and is still right now for canine ACL repairs and I have a little illustration on how that works and uh, this is the same illustration that we had uh, before looking at the anatomy and so again the ACL connecting the femur to the sloping tibial plateau. Now during weight bearing the femur slides down and back and that creates this stretching, stretching motion that pulls and tugs on the ACL uh, and so that's the mechanism. So arthroscopically we clean that up and once we're finished cleaning that up, then with a very specific bone saw, we make a slick cut, do the rotation, and, and fix a bone plate into position. The bone heals wonderfully. And of the many thousands of TPLOs that we've done, we've never had an osteotomy not heal well. Uh, and bone is the best healing structure in the body. All tissues in the body, connective tissues in the body, for the most part, heal together with scar tissue, uh, but bone doesn't. Bone actually grows bone across a cut or a break, in this case a cut, and it goes back to nearly or as original strength.